First at 10, the makeshift memorial for Sharon Matthews has grown for weeks. The teddy bears and flowers left near her home and at the culvert where she was found. But today those items were packed up. News 8's Bradley Blackburn reports the community has something more permanent in mind. They were brought here for Sharon. Candles, stuffed animals, flowers for the little girl who touched so many. And today they were packed up. And a lot of the items started getting dirty and um, wet and uh, starting to build mold. It filled eight bags, 15 bins, more than a van full of items they say will now be cleaned and given new purpose. If we give them to a child that's hurting or in need, I'm sure it'll go a long way, and I'm sure Sharon will love that. It's a physical symbol of the enormous way Sharon's story has impacted people who never knew her in life. The three-year-old girl who died and was left in a culvert, her father telling police he put her there after she choked on milk. Sharon was buried this week in a private ceremony. Her grave's location kept secret from the public. It's something that's kind of impacted all of us a little bit. That's one reason community members gathered today to plan their own permanent memorial. It just breaks my heart that there's not a place permanently that we can remember her forever. It just gives everybody an open place to go and honor her in whatever way that, that feels like it would give them some peace, some closure. It was a first meeting, but already an idea for a granite bench inscribed in her honor. Yeah, there are many benches there and they were all different styles. They say it could go in a cemetery in Richardson that's offered space, could be ready by the end of the year. I think people need a place that they can go and grieve over this that's happened here in our city. A place for Sharon and for those who promise to remember. In Richardson, Bradley Blackburn, Channel 8 News.